I read an article in Kentucky Living Magazine in 2010, and it was about Federal Grove down here in Auburn. Backyard sugaring. So I go out, I tap a tree, get five gallons of sap, boil it down on a turkey fryer and a roasting pan was the biggest pan I had, took six hours. Half tank of propane, I had 12 ounces of syrup, and then this happened. I have four and a half acres total, three of it's wooded, and I've got 350 taps and 120 trees. Most of my trees are 50 years old. They're over 20 inch diameter, they'll take three taps. And then I have some leases. Don't exactly keep track of all that because I just tap every tree I can find. But I've got over a mile of tubing. <clears throat> I'm too lazy to haul buckets of sap. And I pull a vacuum. And that, that pulls gases out of the tree. It accelerates the amount of sap you get and it still doesn't hurt a tree. This is a Bernard releaser. It holds about three gallons before it dumps. I've got vacuum coming into this tubing at the top of this apparatus. So as the sap comes in, it will fill up and that will release the sap into the 400 gallon stainless steel milk tank. Produce maple syrup, maple sugar, maple candy, maple butter. I got two unique sauces. I got a maple orange and a maple citrus vinaigrette. I had to become a food manufacturer to be able to bottle those. If I start out with raw sap, it takes about four or five hours before I can start drawing off syrup. And that's cooking hard. That's loading that firebox every 15 minutes and keeping that as hot as I can get it and producing, you know, going through a lot of sap. You know, six, eight hundred gallons of sap. People kept asking, what do you do with maple sugar? And I thought, well, I guess I better be sure I know what I'm talking about. So I'm going to write a cookbook. That took nine months of obscene grocery bills. And now my wife, she's such an encouragement. She's my main enabler. She helps me labels products. She does everything except make the actual products. And she, she has always complimented me on how good of a job I do. Of course, I take her sample at the end of the day. This is batch today. <laughs> oh, it's so good. <laughs> Other than that, future plans. As the season ends, the syrup starts getting, I say it's nasty. They call it commercial grade. And so I don't usually do that, but somebody clued me in that uh, maple balsamic vinegar is a thing. So I'm gonna try to figure out how to make some. And we would like to get into s some stores. I'm in gift shops around here locally. And uh, that way spend some time going and doing demos at those different locations helping them, helping me, you know, get the product out that way and cut back on some of the events. Just that alone from where I started out with two taps, turkey fryer and a roasting pan and being a food manufacturer in a commercial kitchen on my little property, having a state health inspector and an FDA inspector watching me make my maple citrus vinaigrette after I passed their acidified food manufacturing school class, that is something, if you'd have told me 15 years ago, I'd have told you to find a doctor, <laughs> you need help. 